made it so special. Thank you. And David was, of course, um, channeling something in my from from where I sit now that we've all seen a lot. And you get up in age, you see things, and you get to categorize things like that's you know they're just they find their boxes. And there are two things that have remained incredibly rare, specifically to me. One of them I won't bore you with, but one of them is. David's direct line to something beyond the universal walls when he would pick up an instrument. Uh, it's one of the most special things I've ever, and some things you get to see in life, but some things you get to witness, and I think David's one of those things where you witness. Um, and I don't mean to be sort of, uh, I don't mean to overly claim sort of local pride or anything, but he was ours. In a very specific way. Don't get me wrong, he was yours too, if, if, but he was really yours. Until you saw him carry four or five boxes of sandwiches out of Wolf's. Yeah, that's when you know. Speaking of that, I, there was a time when David's daughter Roseanne and myself and Sarah and Rachel, we were all, you could call us by each other's name and we would respond. It was really a magical time um, and one that resonates with me to this day. And David was so good to us and so patient. And you know, we all had various degrees of fathers and David did his damn best to pitch in where we were lacking. Yeah, he did he. Yeah, um, so much so we were in Nanny Get Your Gun, remember? We were all in Annie, get your gun. How old were we? Oh, come on, no, she didn't know. Ten and, you know, we were all, we, we were, I don't know, we were ragged, we were, we were just in the streets running. We, by 10 years old, we had agency beyond, I would say. Yeah, 17 at least. And, but we were in Annie, get your gun together and we were doing a dress rehearsal, and David snuck into one of the, because yeah, David would, they would, they would like to get his creep on. Like he would just, he just, he'd, arrive, he'd be in, then he'd be out. You know what I mean? Like he didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't trying to linger around. He, you know, if you saw David in Claremont, it was exciting. You know what I mean? Like, get there. like wow. All right, so he snuck into this rehearsal for Andy Get Your Gun, and I had on, because I think we were all in like the one pair of shoe every 18 month club. And David saw my, my David saw my holy ass Adidas and like, I don't mean like, yeah, not with, like holes. Like shoe, if you, yeah, if you know what shoe goo is, then we can talk. But, so he saw what I was performing in, because it was a dress rehearsal, so we were all in our garb. He ran to the house and came back with a pair of patent leather buckle shoes for me. <laughs> Here, man. Here, you got these. Are you know? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And then, and then Carly Moulter's like, oh yes, yes, yes. Carly was like, that's what you you need to. And the only problem is, when I was ten or eleven, I had a size. 12. <laughs> and I'll never forget just like, oh. it just, it took, oh, I was like, oh, oh, get those shoes on. Um, but that, that's, that was David. And it, you, come on, come up here. You guys have, come on, you two, come on. You two, nobody, you two, come on, help me out here. Rachel and Sarah. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but it's like, Sorry, but when people say what's your favorite band to ever come out of Claremont, I say Casual Girls. Thank you very much. Second that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, 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 oh
it's great to be here because he was our dad too. Um, and the strangest dad you could ever have. <laughs> That's dad, here's dad. There's a reason for doing a comedy show now. But it was a magical house to grow up in and um, we were there for hours. Our parents couldn't get us out because we didn't answer the phone or the door. door. <laughs> there was a secret code to get in. And still to this day, when it, if I hear, oh, if someone plays guitar while watching Kung Fu with the sound off, yeah. it's the best, best thing ever. It is. It is. I, I would like to point out some of my favorite um, childhood experiences at the Lindley's. Um, first of all, we watched Animal House at age seven. seven. <laughs> and he tried to fast forward on the Betamax through the sexy scene, so it was just fast. But Ben is Ben is right, he was he was present in a way that again most parents weren't, but he saw us and talk to us in a way that, that other adults didn't. And um, we learned a lot of voices and, and funny um, stories all the time. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. He's a treasure and so grateful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be who I am today without that influence. Um, and I'm so grateful. Yeah. And I talked to Roseanne today and I wish she was here. Um, but we're going to celebrate in different ways and have been. And um, thank you all for doing this. Thank you very so much. much.